so good right now. Taste it. See if it needs more salt. Mmm. Just like that. Oh lord. Can't wait. Okay, so now it's time to put the sandwich together. Mmm, I can't wait at all. It smells so delicious by itself and together. The scents are just driving me nuts. So let's go ahead and make a sandwich. Really super simple. And what I love about this dish is the fact that it is something that is super quick for you to make. It's really easy. You don't have a whole bunch of ingredients that you have to be concerned with. And you can easily substitute this recipe if you want. 
of course, because I totally recommend trying something that's just making you feel like that's what you want to have tonight. But right now, we are going to put this lovely combination together and I cannot wait. I'm just using a basic mayo and then we're going to add the pulled pork. Now the pork, as far as pulling is concerned, all I did was just chop it up like this. Real super simple, look, it just falls apart. It's so easy. You don't have to worry about, you know, sitting there trying to shred it all day long. And this only took literally about half an hour in the Ninja Foodi. And that's one of the things that I love about that Ninja Foodi is the fact that you're able to have something that would normally take, oh, hours, three at least, to do and make the quick version that's just as tasty, super flavorful in a half an hour. And it's on the table for you and your family to enjoy. Now, once I put the pulled pork in, all I'm going to be adding is this sauerkraut that I made. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this sauerkraut. And I made this recipe specifically for this sauerkraut. <laughs> okay, because I thought in my head it's, it would just taste fantastic. Now, you should probably use a clean fork to do, to get your sauerkraut out of, because you don't want to mess with what's going on up in here okay you don't want to mess with that with whatever's going on over here so you want to get your sauerkraut and you can put on as much as you want or as little as you want it's up to you but this is what i am doing because i have tasted this all by itself and i'm telling you mm, so good so good i've really never tasted anything like it I'm excited. Oh, yes. All right. Now, I'm adding some mustard. And this mustard I'm using is a horseradish mustard that I love to eat. And I know horseradish mustard is pretty tangy on its own, but there it is. And then you just gotta just kind of stuff it in there, just squeeze it all in. Because mm, that is what you want. Lovely. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this in half. And I think around here, Mr. Rose is waiting to take a very quick, snacky taste. Is that the sandwich? Is it ready? Yes, it's ready. Oh my goodness. And see mm. what it is like. All right, mm. hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get all this stuff out the way. Let's get all this stuff out the way. And you know, y'all, we're at home. We don't care. This is how we're just eating it. We're going to go for it right now. Mm. You know, try to be all pretty and yes. stuff. Here we go. Let's see. Well, mm. and these are French rolls that you can just buy in your local store and just slap them on there. Mm. Mm. That mm. is a good sandwich. All right, y'all. Well, mm. I'd love to sit and chop. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't. But we gotta Don't go. Eat. All right, so I hope this recipe works for you. I hope you like it a whole, whole bunch. Because I tell you what, I love it so much, we gotta go. So thank you for watching. Please share and like. And try it. And definitely, definitely try it and comment below when you do. Thank you. Y'all come back to Wild Rose Haven.